Meanwhile, we've made our way into the kitchen and here to make a delicious honey almond cake with berries and mascarpone creme fraiche that was inspired by the new Hallmark Publishing book. The secret ingredient is Maria. Welcome, Maria. Also joining Cameron and Allie at the counter is the award-winning author of the book, Nancy Nagel. Welcome That's back, right, Nancy. Nancy. We're so excited to have you here. Happy to have you here. <laughs> so, Nancy, to say that this cake was inspired yeah. by your book, The Secret Ingredient, is almost not big enough because this cake is not just a cake. It's actually one of the main characters in the book. Am I right? Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> That's a big deal. Yeah, it is. Andrew and Kelly came up with this cake together years and years ago, and their relationship went awry. And years later, seven years later, they come back together, and they're in a competition, a blind competition, cooking, and they both pulled this recipe out of their bag of tricks. So it, it kind of a crazy little twist there, you know? They didn't even know that they were gonna be competing against each other, but this recipe was something that was super special to them. They worked together for on it for weeks, and look at it, it's gorgeous. It's, it it's honey beautiful. almond cake. What a sweet story. <laughs> and how interesting is that? It's the same recipe, but when two different people make the same That's recipe, true. it it's never different. comes out the same way. <laughs> Depends on who puts more love in it. That's, That's the right. one who wins. It's a secret ingredient. <laughs> You'll have to read the book to find out. And Maria, I know, listen, you're... <gasps> You're self-proclaimed cookie monster and cake monster, I so mean. no one's more perfect than you to actually bring this character to life. I'm so excited to bring this character to life, and I love Nancy. I'm such a fan of your work and so Aww. happy to have you here. Thank you. And as you know, like most of us, I love a good love story, and I'm a small town girl, so we, Nancy and I are buds. We're, she's my new best girlfriend. And all the Hallmark movies that are coming out, and it's just... This is just such a special place in my heart. Hallmark Publishing, her book comes out February 12th. So everybody, get your bookmarks ready and yeah. start reading along, because that book right. sounds so much uh, fun. Very exciting. Yes, yes, so we can get into it. So it yes. starts with the honey almond cake that we've already made over here. So what goes in there? Okay, so this cake, like you said, is the almond is what makes it really, really luxurious and fancy and French. So it has almond meal in it, which mm. adds that nice sort of depth of flavor in your flour. Okay. And, uh, and also almond extract. Of course, the extracts are what makes things fancy, so a vanilla extract and almond extract. Okay. And this has buttermilk in it, so buttermilk and six eggs. So those are the oh, two wow, things okay. that are really going to, when the buttermilk, you know, hits the baking powder, it's going to create that nice light and fluffiness. Yeah. And, uh, and the eggs make it nice and fluffy too as Beautiful. well. So the, that's sort of the base and it has, it's an oil based as well. So that keeps moist. it nice moist. Oh my so gosh. that's our cake. And you just, we have all, all the instructions on HallmarkChannel.com and you put it in the oven, 350 and, and bake it till it's done, Deb. Bake it till it's bake done. Bake it till it's done. <laughs> like the Greeks say. Too thick. If it comes out clean, it's done. <laughs> So now we're gonna make the beautiful honey okay. glaze that goes on top of this, which is simple, but delicious. Yes, and so I have my uh, my powdered sugar here and I'm adding in the honey. So you can go, you cannot go wrong with honey. No. And I have lemon zest, uh, That the zest really adds so much flavor. Vanilla extract and this is why I know Nancy and I are going to be friends because it's with <laughs> half and half, and I love that it has yes, half and yes. half because that really adds that richness that you definitely need in a glaze. So there this is a glaze, thank you, Deb. You're this welcome. is a glaze, so you do want it to be liquidy because you're going to put this over the cake. So what the glaze does essentially is it adds that nice moisture into the cake, so you don't have to worry about it drying out. Okay. And uh, that's what makes it just have that sort of depth of flavor, and of course the the floralness that the honey adds is really, right. really beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this glaze on this. And a great tip too, um, if you wanna make this ahead of time, what I would do is, oh, the cake one is, you need this to be warm too, okay. right out of the oven, you can put the glaze on. Uh, so a great tip if you wanna make this ahead of time is to uh, put this glaze on, let it cool, and then wrap it, and you can wrap it in, you know, like a plastic wrap, and then in uh, something that's safe for the freezer. Okay. And this can be frozen. Uh, a couple months in advance. Okay. It's super easy. And you just right. do this until it's all coated. So then after we let that cool, then we are gonna start to layer the cake like we've done over here with the beautiful uh, creme fraiche mascarpone. Yes, so what's cool about this frosting, because I I mean, I am one of those people that I can eat frosting with like by the spoonful. It's it's <laughs> just so my good. favorite thing. Oh. And so what the, this is, uh, this has creme fraiche mascarpone, confectioner sugar, you know, AKA powdered sugar, okay. and vanilla extract. So it's not a, uh, it's not your typical buttercream. So 
What's cool about that is that it actually has a really nice lightness about it. Oh my god. And gosh. you can really, really so like, yeah, good. load it on there because you do want it to pop out of the side. It's a naked cake. It is a naked cake. And that's <laughs> these things are super trendy to have uh, right. that the imperfectly frosted. Nancy, cake. you're so on track. I'm, I'm Nancy. Totally right now. Well, you guys All are the bakers that. everywhere are talking about the naked cake. That's right. right. And, and they are. That's and, why I picked it. Well, and you started <laughs> writing the book well before it started trending. So I, I, you asked me, I think they followed you. <laughs> I'm watching you uh, make this cake, and I'm wondering what was your inspiration for for. Uh, basing the book, the inspiration of the story behind a baking competition. Oh, well, you know, my mama is a diehard Hallmark fan, but when oh. she is not watching Hallmark, she is watching those cooking channel competitions. <laughs> she loves them. And, you know, it's not just like, oh, let's bake cookies. It's got to be like the four foot tall you know, cake. Oh, my gosh. It has to have animation and stuff like that. And so when I was coming up with a oh, story, a love story, I thought, wow, it would be so fun to have it around a competition with cakes and just, you know, Southern stuff and cakes and I mean that's what everybody loves. Goes together it's hand just, in hand. Listen, yeah. I did I did five yeah. movies around uh, a baking uh, that's right. mystery series. That's just uh, so I get it. I mean we all love it. But I want to ask you this also. I know I know in your stories there's always an animal. You always have an animal. I and love that too. This particular story. Uh, there's a very interesting animal, very there cute. Is. He the is micro a, pig. The micro pig. How about that? Oh, buddy. He is adorable. And I will tell you, I was meeting with some some gals from Cal Media, in fact, and we were talking about Happy the Dog yep. and oh, all the geez. awesome animals that, that Hallmark is working with. And they showed me pictures of a micro pig that was in their New York office. And what? they were kissing on him. <laughs> so cute. Wait, wait, wait. And I said, wait. Do we have a, a, a pig? <laughs> I said, I am putting a pig in my next book, and she is going to march him down Man Street. Oh, my God, I love and it. And so that I did. And, <laughs> oh, he is wonderful, and he's smart. I made sure he could fetch and play basketball <gasps> and do fun things. And it's, it's like pig in the city. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love a pig. I think they're the cutest animals they are. ever. They're adorable. They're so, I know, and they're so <laughs> smart. You're right. And, and something different. You right. Know? Why not? <laughs> and now we just decorate it with oh, some beautiful strawberries and almonds. Oh, yes. you guys. Right? How beautiful Maria. that is. And you can really not go wrong at all with this. You could add a um, little bit more powdered sugar. And then I love the look that the almonds add to it, that little bit. I, if you're going to get the almonds, I like the ones that uh, that still have the outer shell on there, too, because right. they're just so pretty. The raw almonds. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. amazing, you guys. What yes. do you think, Nancy? I love it. It's beautiful. Do you think we'd win the competition? Oh, I do. Well, uh, <laughs> there was a lot of love into that cake, that's for sure. <laughs> but absolutely delicious. You guys have a bite.